Hello, everyone. I'm Lana Zak. Thanks so much for joining us. The parents of a teenager accused in the deadly Michigan high school shooting have pleaded not guilty to multiple charges. James and Jennifer Crumbly were arraigned Saturday morning. Prosecutors charged them with involuntary manslaughter, and the judge set bail at half a million dollars each. The couple and their son are detained at the Oakland County Jail, isolated from one another. Police found the Crumbleys hours earlier in a warehouse in Detroit, about 40 miles from their home. Officials say the couple skipped their first court appearance Friday, which triggered the manhunt. The Oakland County Sheriff says that they are investigating exactly how they ended up in that location. While police were looking for the parents, the community in Oxford, Michigan, held a vigil Friday night mourning the four students killed in the shooting. Seven other people were wounded. Sheriffs say the conditions of those victims are improving. CBS News' Michael George has the latest. The parents of the Michigan teen charged with killing four students in a high school rampage pleaded not guilty to four counts each of involuntary manslaughter. Your Honor, this is a very serious, horrible, terrible murder and shooting. And these two individuals could have stopped it. James and Jennifer Crumley were arraigned Saturday, hours after police found them hiding in a commercial building in Detroit. Everybody pitched in. Uh, we were confident we'd be able to find them in short order, and because of that teamwork we did, we believe they were assisted in that uh, location to get there, to get in. Attorneys for the couple say their clients left the area for their own safety, but plan to return to face charges. Our clients were absolutely going to turn themselves in. Prosecutors filed charges against the couple Friday, saying they failed to prevent the tragedy and allowed their 15-year-old son to have access to the gun his father bought on Black Friday. On the day of the shooting, his parents allegedly refused to take Crumley home after the school showed them a disturbing note found at his desk. In another section of the note was a drawing of a bullet with the following words above that bullet, quote, blood everywhere. Further down the drawing are the words, quote, my life is useless, end quote. And to the night right of that are the words, quote, the world is dead. Soon after, prosecutors say the teen walked out of a school bathroom and fatally shot four students in the hallway. Michael George, CBS News, Pontiac, Michigan. CBS News legal contributor and Loyola Law School professor Jessica Levinson joins us now. Jessica, every time we hear more details, we're just sort of stunned by this. 